Ever wonder how our work knowledge is being acquired? Research shows that we acquire 10% of our working knowledge through formal education, 20% through social learning, and a whopping 70% through experiential learning. Experiential learning. Experiential learning. So what is experiential learning? Experiential learning is a process through which students develop knowledge, skills, and values from direct experiences. In other words, yep, learning by doing. Can you imagine if you were being taught how to operate an iPhone in a class with manuals, slides, and PowerPoints? Wouldn't it be better if I simply gave you an iPhone so you can experience it right away? Introducing Monsoon Sim, an enterprise simulation and experiential education platform. It's exciting, fun, and educational for all levels of staff. Monsoon Sim covers 12 business concepts from finance to customer service. These are generic concepts allowing the facilitator to configure a typical business such as a distribution business, a manufacturing business, or a service management business. A typical Monsoon Sim session is a one-day workshop. Although Monsoon Sim can be configured to run in an extended workshop up to, say, three months, the session is facilitated by a certified facilitator who will configure the game based on an appropriate scenario. The participants of the game, or players, can come together in a room or they can be off-site anywhere on the cloud. Indeed, there are many games out there. There are team-building games, productivity games, and many other creative thinking games. Monsoon Sim is designed to educate staff and employees of a large organization to understand how to work better using an integrated computerized or ERP system. The key word here is integrated. Meet Jane. Jane has been working in the purchasing department for several years. Every day, Jane comes to the office, turns on her computer, and processes hundreds of purchase requisitions. And Jane has been doing the same thing for the last two years. Wouldn't it be good if Jane knew how the data she enters affects her colleagues in some other departments in her organization? Wouldn't it be good if Jane knew that if she put in the wrong vendor code, the spare parts that she ordered would never arrive? And the mechanics in the maintenance department would never get the delivery trucks to be repaired on time. And the users out in the field would not get their supplies on time. How about John? John is a new recruit. John has never worked in a large organization. John is assigned to work in the finance department. How long will it take for John to appreciate how his job is related to the other departments? And how is the data he inputs into the ERP system affecting the other departments. Now, we can always give John and Jane proper training the traditional way with manuals, handbooks, guides, PowerPoint slides, videos, etc. Or, ta-da, we can send John and Jane for a session of Monsoon Sim. Let's see how Monsoon Sim works. Harry, the facilitator, has just configured Monsoon Sim based on the following scenarios. You and your teammates will be running a fast-growing virtual business. You will start by selling goods through a few retail stores. Your products are, say, apple juice, orange juice, and melon juice. Initially, you are running a simple trading business by buying and selling these packaged juices to retail customers. Soon you realize that you have competition from other teams. Therefore, you need to have a marketing department to invest in marketing and marketing intelligence. As your business grows, you increase your turnover by having your own warehouse and logistic department. As soon as business grows even more, you start to sell wholesale directly to corporate resellers. Soon, as the competitions heat up, you find yourself unable to compete in cost without having your own production department. Hence, you invest in production machines and start producing from raw materials. At this point, you will be running quite a big business, and you cannot afford to have any miscalculations. Hence, you will need to add new supporting departments, such as MRP and forecasting department. You then realize that the production machines you have purchased need to be properly maintained in order to give you the optimal throughputs. Hence, you will add a maintenance department. 
Just like in real life, your virtual company needs competent staff to operate. Hence, you also need to have a strong human resource department. Finally, as your customer base grows, you need to put in a good customer service department to handle customer complaints and to provide additional services to your customers. So there you have it, a complete model of a fast-growing company. The participants are divided into five teams. Each team, say with five staff members, each team represents one such growing virtual company. Harry then runs the game, simulating, say, 200 virtual days, with each virtual day being, say, 40 seconds. The teams then compete to see which team can generate the most profit. In order to do well, each team has to, one, understand the relationships among the various departments, two, execute well, three, communicate well, and four, work as a team. John, who takes on the role as finance staff, has to understand how each purchase will eventually affect the daily cash balances. John also has to ensure that all the purchases are properly budgeted. Jane, who takes on the role as purchasing staff, has to worry about which vendors to select and which are to be invited for biddings. Jane also has to be aware of the vendor's delivery lead time. Jane also has to make sure vendors are being paid on time. Peter takes on the role of maintenance. Peter has to be constantly aware of the operating conditions of the delivery trucks, which deliver goods among the retail stores and the warehouse. When Peter needs to perform a maintenance function, Peter has to involve Jane to approve the PO, which will also involve John, who oversees the budget. Adam, who takes on the role of service staff, has to monitor incoming service calls from the field and take the proper actions. Jessica, who takes on the role of a recruiting staff, has to work based on her simulated headcount plan. In Monsoon Sim, the game starts with a very simple scenario and evolves as the game progresses. Every virtual day is an exciting day. Every virtual day is a learning experience. By operating as a team to run the entire company, Peter, John, Jane, Adam, and Jessica have to work as a team. They have to understand how the data they input into the system affects each other. Players will learn how to manage their own KPI and learn to appreciate others' KPI. Players also need to manage their own constraints, such as time, capacity, and staff, and appreciate the constraints of the other departments. In Monsoon Sim, each player can take on multiple roles. For example, Jane may take on the role of purchasing staff and logistics staff, while John may take on finance and human resources. And participants can switch roles anytime. By making the teams compete with each other, learning a complex enterprise system becomes exciting and fun. Participants truly can learn things without realizing it. In summary, Monsoon Sim is an ideal platform to help all levels of staff to learn the overall integrated process within an enterprise, learn to work better with each other, and appreciate the power of an integrated ERP system. Thank you.